You touched on this a little bit, but I think a lot of people are surprised to know or would be surprised to know that the hormones can be affected by that and then in turn behavior and on down the line many things which For obviously sure. hormones are connected to. Absolutely. What what you have to I think what we all have to realize is that stress hormones are that. They're hormones. And once you start to alter hormones, other hormones in the system are going to be altered as well, either directly or indirectly, because the body is always trying to have some form of balance, right? So I like to use this analogy a lot, but balance in the body, because it's always changing, is like a juggler who's juggling 10 tennis balls. Now, there's balance in that because you have them all in the air. But as you can imagine, it's constantly changing. In order for me to keep these 10 tennis balls in the air, I have to change my hands a little bit in order for that to happen, right? So I want you to think of each one of those tennis balls as a stressor, and I also want you to think of it as a hormone because the body is always juggling stress. So it sits back and says, okay, I can handle 10 stressors, right? But you would agree with me that if I had a room of 50 people and I say, each one of you have another tennis ball in your hand, one at a time, lob me another tennis ball. At some point, I'm gonna be juggling 15, 16 tennis balls. I'm not gonna be able to get one more tennis ball, right? So the 16th person lobs me another tennis ball and I can't quite catch that tennis ball. Well, what happens? I don't just drop that last tennis ball, I drop everything, right? Well, that's how the body is. That's called allostatic load. The point at which your body can no longer maintain balance, that is really the beginning points of disease and illness because as long as your body's juggling, adapting, it can fight off stuff. So that's why people say, well, I know a friend and they're under stress all the time and they don't get disease. Well, that's because they're still juggling. Their body's still fighting. But at every one of us, we all have a breaking point where we just can't handle even one more thing. And the subluxation adds to that. Now, if you can keep that in mind, the hormone system works very similar. If you affect one hormone, you're going to have a direct effect on another hormone. So, for example, if there's stress hormones are involved, so you have an increased amount of adrenaline, increased amount of cortisol, well, there's going to be an effect with that. So we know, th we know through research that if you increase cortisol, things like dopamine and serotonin, the feel good hormones of the body, they start to decrease. So when you have a lot of stress hormone, that's when you see people who are depressed, sad, not happy. Why? Because they're under stress. And I mean, think of in your own life, if you've ever talked to someone who's stressed out, they're not happy. They hate life. They want to get into a fight or a bicker, an argument, right? Well, that's the stress hormones are high. The good hormones are low. So when we adjust these people, if we can decrease those stress hormones, what do you think happens to the good hormones? They all start to come back up again. And that's why a lot of patients in our office, they haven't had pain in years, not in years, but they don't miss their adjustment. Why? Because they've never felt better. And what, and what I mean by feel better is not that they're out of pain now. They literally just sit back and say, I don't know what it is, but I just can't put my finger on it, but I just feel like a million bucks every time I walk out of a chiropractic office. What they don't realize is it's because we're helping recalibrate the brain, recalibrate those hormones so that everything is in balance again. That's how the body should be, right? But unfortunately, with increased stress in our life, we get out of balance for so long. That's why people go, go from I'm unstressed, now I'm unhappy, now I'm angry, now I'm gonna bicker with everyone all the time, now I wanna get into a fist fight with people, right? Like it gets to that slippery slope and that's the behavior that comes out. So that's why I tell people all the time, if you can see the person's behavior in front of you, you can tell if they're stressed or not, right? Because if they're just constantly like, and I'm angry, and, uh, this person's in a stressed situation. Right.